Okay. <laughs> so, hi, my name is Melanie. I'm from the Cap Region Women's Conference or capregionwomen.com. And today I'm very excited to interview Christiane Klein. So, Christiane, tell me about yourself. Absolutely. Hi, Melanie. Um, yeah, my name, as you mentioned, my name is Christiane Klein. I'm a lifestyle author and journalist. I worked as a national TV anchor for ABC News. I am also the founder of Christiane's Natural Beauty, which is an all-natural vegan aromatherapy-based skincare line formulated for aging skin. <laughs> Very nice. So what will you be addressing at the conference? Yeah, I, as you notice, I, I have kind of a wide range and a strange past, um, so I will be sharing a lot of my personal history, and I'm so honored that they asked me to share my journey with women at the conference. It's been an incredible road from network news to natural skincare line, and for me, it took a really traumatic event to get to that place. Um, I'm sharing a very personal story. I was badly injured while I was reporting and ended up on oxygen for more than a month. And it was something that could have killed me, some people say should have killed me, and it ended up being a huge and tremendous catalyst for change in my life. Um, and I consider it one of the great blessings of my life to have been able to go through that experience because it placed me on the path that I'm on now. So I'm hoping that hearing about my journey will inspire other women to make positive changes in their life without the trauma, <laughs> without having to go through all of the trauma that I went through. Yes, maybe we'll be lucky enough to learn some of the lessons you learned definitely without the trauma. So is this what inspired you to create the, the company that you're doing? Or tell me more about your company. Absolutely. I wanted to share inspirational and lifestyle-based information with my viewers, so I started a Truth Fairy Company. And we have a television production arm, a multimedia arm. I wrote my first cookbook, which is a lifestyle-based cookbook, at Christiane's uh, Herbal Kitchen Fresh Recipes for Body and Soul, and that actually also included natural beauty tips. And from that, when I was doing a media tour, I had so many people asking me, do you have your own skincare line? How do you make your skincare, everything like that? And I kept telling them, no, 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 I've, I've given you some tips, but I I'm not selling it. And then just demand led to Christiane's Natural Beauty, and we've been growing extremely rapidly. It's, we've just had an amazing response, and it's been an awesome journey so far. Oh, I'd love to hear more about that. So do you have a website that you can share? Yes, it is lovecnb.com, love Christiane's Natural Beauty, so love cnb.com and you can pick up the book there uh, find out more information about the line how we developed it it's all done with integrity and purpose so I want to make sure everybody has it is free of parabens and synthetics and all, all of that stuff that's nasty and not good for your body nice so the website will have information on how we can get kind of the right customization for our skin type that would be Absolutely. interesting <laughs> So do you have any tips for women looking to make any small changes in their lives right now? Absolutely. You know, we always say that we're out of time and we don't have enough time in the world. And for the most part, that's true. But you can always find and eke out five minutes a day to take time for yourself, take time to connect to others. For me, it was really hard when I was first going through my experience to be connected with my body. I wasn't paying attention to massive warning signs that I really needed to get help. And so I always try to take time to meditate, get in touch with that if you're a morning person. You know, go outside, spend some time with the birds and hearing the birds in, in your neighborhood. If you're a night person or you're really stressed and you have trouble sleeping, that's me. <laughs> I actually meditate every night before I go to bed. And I promise you, if you have problems sleeping, taking that five minutes will really, really help you. It puts me right to sleep. So I think it's just if for women to get in touch with themselves. And for people who are looking at this right now and saying, I just don't have time, I don't have time, you know, put down Facebook, <laughs> watch the next video, save it till tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, because we can find that time if we pay attention to it. It's just a matter of making the right choices. And I know, you know, a lot of us are, are hooked on, on Google and Facebook, but, you know, taking that extra little time for yourself is really, really important for women. Yes, it really is just a conscious decision that we have to make. And we're all given the same amount, 24 hours a day. So we do need to yeah. prioritize that. <laughs> so I'd love to get tips on how to meditate and things like that. That's not something I've ever done before. I know it's important and I bet it could help a lot. But is that something that um, 
you know, you could share with other women on, on how you meditate or just any tips as far as relaxation yeah, goes? Absolutely. I, I use a lot of essential oils in my work. So uh, I prefer using lavender, things like that, to help calm down my brain. And I know for a lot of us, if we're really, really busy, if we, you know, with family, friends, work, your mind is constantly moving and it's really hard to shut that off, especially at night, which is what leads to a lot of people having insomnia problems. So for me, what I'll do is I'll take some lavender, take some rubber chamomile, hot tea, and just try to decompress and turn off those thoughts. If I start having that, my mom always says, put it in the lockbox. So, you know, you don't have to think about it right then. If you're starting to do that, and I always place one hand on my chest and one hand on my stomach and just try to breathe and do natural breathing. Focus on your breathing. If you're having those thoughts, breathe in for four seconds, hold it, breathe out for four seconds. So if you're focusing more on that, it shuts your brain off from all of the trauma of your everyday life and you're, fo- and you're focusing more on what's going on with your body. And I really think that helps a lot. That's great. All right. Well, hopefully you can uh, meet lots of women at the conference and you can share your inspiring story and all your tips. And I hope we can all learn more about your skincare line um, I as well. I look forward to it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank, thank you so much, Kelly. Thank you so much, Kate. Bye-bye.